Hello everyone, the moment you've all been waiting for has finally come. I'm gonna record my first let's play on the new Gods and Kings expansion to Civilization V. I'm pretty sure you know some of the new features, like the new leaders, there's nine of them, the new abilities of gameplay like religion and spice, and all sorts of other stuff that ha that has been introduced. Uh, I'm gonna not gonna do a separate video on that because uh, there are plenty of them on the internet. A particular interesting one I've seen is from Madgen, which uh, who you probably all know if you like Civilization. So I'm gonna go straight to um, playing the game and. Uh, the leader which I like the most from the new ones is Pakal, the leader of Mayans, who have really excellent, unique ability. They receive great people throughout the game for free. And also they have an awesome, unique building, which is the Pyramid. So I'm gonna play on Earth map. For a player, I'm gonna decrease the difficulty to Immortal because on Deity I won't be able to find uh, found a religion. The, all the AIs will do it before me, and I actually want to make a gameplay when I show you how it's done. So this everything here is fine. Let's go to this menu. Allow policy saving. I usually take that. No barbarians. That's not necessary. And here's something that has also been introduced: quick movement, which is an awesome, awesome thing, because it speeds up the movement. It speeds up the whole game, and it actually has been introduced not in the God and Gods and Kings expansion, but in the patch that came a couple of days ago. I think it was one day before the premiere of Gods and Kings in America, so you might actually not notice that, that it was a separate patch, but since I'm in Europe and I had to play like five days on this patch, I've noticed it. So the, I'm gonna leave the quick movement on, quick combat as usual, and I'm gonna start the game. Additional one more thing to the quick movement and quick combat that has changed, you can now turn it on and off during the gameplay, not only in the beginning, and which is also a very useful thing because now you can switch it off in scenarios and scenarios will be played really much faster. So anyway, let's start the game and the ability. After researching theology, receive a bonus great person at the end of every Maya long count calendar cycle. Every 300 94 years. Each bonus person can only be chosen once. This is kind of lame, so you cannot spawn unlimited great engineers or great scientists. However, it's very, very useful. Uh, the unit, on the other hand, is really weak. I mean, there's nothing special about it. Um, it's a standard. Actually, uh, the only thing is you can build the right way without researching of archery. However, the pyramid is... Well, you can see it. It replaces the shrine, gives you, however, two fate instead of one, and two signs. So you've got pyramid and library, two very early buildings that generate you science points. Which makes the game a lot more interesting. Okay, my starting location is not the best. I'm in... I know this map very well, so I know that I'm in uh, Central Asia, somewhere around where Moscow is usually settled, and it's usually right in the middle of everyone, so everyone will be angry at me for coveting my lands. However, I'm gonna settle and not complain, and gonna go for a monument right away, researching I, if I want to find a religion on higher difficulties, I have to go for pottery and shrine and in my case pyramid right away. There is absolutely no other way to uh, find it. Well, unless you play like Bodhika, who has 
really really nice bonus for religion finding for faith generation I mean. oh I got free culture that will speed things up okay now a little mm, a word about the social policies liberty which was my favorite mm, policy for the beginning has been mm, Turn down a little. You no longer get the free settler right here in the beginning. You have to get to republic first, then to collective rule. So it's not that much useful. Uh, representation gives you golden age, just as previously, but you, golden age increases generation of culture. And uh, as uh, the liberty branch finishes, you get the free great person but it's no longer free it increases the cost of actual great person generation uh, just like the person would be generated by yourself so it's no longer that good uh, the tradition has been a little boosted up since legalism uh, now uh, functions as it should function so you no longer need to save the legalism policy to get a free cultural building you can first get the legalism then only get the technology for building and you will still get it you will also get it in new found cities so that is why I'm thinking about adopting tradition since I also want to build a couple of wonders and I'm gonna go for aristocracy I don't know if I will complete the whole branch and get a free aqueduct in my four first cities which is which has also been changed or if I only gonna adopt a couple of the policies Piety branch has now become the branch for increased faith generation However, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that because rationalism is still, in my opinion, better. And you cannot take both. Patronage mm, hasn't changed, although mm, the gold bonuses which you give to city states have been decreased. So it's really much more difficult to get and keep the allies and scholasticism. However, it's still the way to go. I'm gonna comment on the other policies a little later, maybe don't spend too much time on that. However, they basically, some of them have been boosted up, some of them boosted down, but nevertheless the strategies are rather similar. Here's a new character, Gustavus Adolfus, the Great of Sweden, and he's gonna be stealing all of my allies because he's got the ability for uh, for allies keeping. And since I also want to have the allies, this will be a rather not very nice. Okay, I've completed pottery. Now I'm gonna go for writing, <coughs> and I'm gonna go to pyramid. <coughs> right after I complete the monument. Uh, eight turns for that. <coughs> also, as you can see, you have to... I'm not going for liberty, so I'm not gonna have the free worker. And I'm also not um, producing the worker. So what I'm gonna do is, hopefully, hopefully, I am will be generating enough gold. For example, like from this one. Although I want to exchange embassies, so I'm not gonna accept it to buy the worker. See, already 13 turns, 14, and the first pantheon has been founded, which means that the second pantheon is now five faith uh, more expensive. So that's how it is on higher difficulties. And also, you can see that religions that still can be found are free. So, this means... Mm, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, start walking at least on the walker. This means that uh, one of the mm, players will not be able to find the religion. And on deity, you will be that player. So... Let's hope that this time this will work, and since I'm generating two faith and all the other ones are generating only one, 
because they don't have unless they have some special bonuses or the one that adopted the uh, the pantheon might be generating some additional faith however i've got the good chances to find the religion okay now i finished writing and i can either switch to great library which i really would like however my gold uh, income is really low so i'm gonna wait for the worker and research some technologies that will help me out mining would be very useful since i've got forest to chop down and salt that also requires mining then i will probably go for a calendar and another thing that has uh, change for uh, and change a lot are the technologies the technology tree you can no longer m do m the trick which well it wasn't actually a trick in the previous game where i've research philosophy and calendar and at the same time was building the great library then used free technology to boost into medieval era and get the theology that no longer works because you need more technologies for that you got additional drama and poetry which is just as expensive as philosophy and uh, if you will research all the free technologies before building their great library i'm pretty sure you're not gonna be able to build that so i'm just gonna avoid that or don't not even i'm not even gonna try doing that and I'm, I'm gonna try to build the great library but then use it probably for philosophy maybe for iron working i'm not sure now let's see how the game develops okay i've got another policy and now i have the option to either save the policies for the patronage branch or adopt legalism although legalism by itself will not give me much at this moment since i've already mm, have mm, built the monument but it will unlock landed elite that is really useful but that is two policies and i want to get the patronage sap so i'm gonna skip this policy now and gonna leave that for later okay is there no one else here i'm pretty sure there's got to be at least one ai uh, on the on the in africa asia continent one can be in the in north america uh, it, however it's very often that all four are on the same continent so now i got the pantheon and i can choose from quite a lot of what are the interesting Ferti fertility rights plus 10 percent faster growth rate culture and faith from wine and incense i think i've got two incense but i will have to actually walk the tile and since this one is a desert i'm not gonna walk it for a very long time plus two science in cities with a trade route that's one this one is interesting if you're going for a rapid expansion 15% uh, production of ancient classical wonders that's the one which i will probably take although plus one culture from plantations is also useful culture from jungle no happiness on rivers also no yeah i'm gonna go for this one monument of the gods and continue play continue generating faith and with 200 i will be able to get my first great profit well hello there you're also new uh, you don't have writing okay in this case i'm gonna leave you alone hmm, there's a city state i haven't discovered yet here would be a good spot for settling gold, stone and marble. This deer will belong to Palenque, but there's one more deer here. But anyway, I'm gonna go for a great library first. Now research, research, let's check if there are any horses around. And you're Vatican City, you're a religious city, state. As you probably know or not, then I'm gonna tell you that two new kinds of city-states, religious ones and mercantile. Mercantile ones give you 
luxury resources and very uh, pretty much so much happiness I mean, the happiness issue is well I don't know how to say it uh, in the previous games I very often had problems with unhappiness especially when I was leading world now with the introduction of many new luxury resources and the mercantile city-states last game I was playing uh, it was a one city challenge uh, also on immortal towards the end of the game I was generating 170 happiness per turn okay if that's the way it is meant to work I'm fine with that okay here I have chopped down the tree however I want to I want to work on uh, upgrades that will give me additional production with my wonders No, no, I can give masonry. I could buy a scout, but I rather keep my gold for the city states. Here's the cultural city state. I'm gonna invest first, although it's hostile. Maybe I will find some other ones that uh, and that. Uh, and uh, here's a new thing that has been introduced. Once you accept the embassies, you see you can see where the enemy capital is. So here is Addis Ababa, and here is Stockholm. Oh, he's also building uh, the Great Library, and he's got already upgraded. He's already upgraded the marble. Uh, that's not good. Gustavus, let's sell you myself. And let's invest in Kuala Lumpur. See, I've given them 500 gold and I'm only friends. Uh, maybe I should have waited. Well, I'm gonna upgrade another salt in a couple of turns, then I'm gonna sell it to the other guy. Hi, Leselassia. Okay, now we look. Let's try that. Here's another city state right next to my border, but I don't see it. They have to I have to meet their unit. Oh the city state itself. Well my sp cutting spearman is really good at avoiding that. Ah, someone found a religion. Yeah, this guy. Okay, let's move you. Wittenberg, another religious city state. Well, what's going on with you guys? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Son of a gun, you're gonna die for that. Okay, let's use that gold that has been lost, and in which case I'm gonna go for Stonehenge. See? Such crappy things also do happen. Nag, nah, fuck off. Let's sell you the salt. How can I be no longer Kuala Lumpur? They're hostile and the... Oh, the influence goes down like crazy. Okay, let's research mathematics now. I even switched the production focus and started upgrading these two tiles first. Oh. This is so annoying. Now they look for investors when I already spent thousand gold. Hmm. At least they've given me something. Okay, I'm gonna cooperate with you because I don't like the other guy. However, I don't know how much that will last because you keep expanding towards me. Yeah, yeah, I know that we are competing, however, I will gladly sell you something, at least now that we aren't at war yet. 
enters Milan, a, a new city-state, and it's cultural and neutral. If I had met them first, I would probably invest in them, not in Kuala Lumpur. They've got gold, they've got sugar, they've got cotton. All kinds of nice stuff. What? Losing grasp already? What do you want? Great general. I don't think I will be getting a great general anytime soon. But I did manage to complete Stonehenge. Stonehenge uh, bonus has been changed. It no longer gives you culture, it gives you now 5 hail, hail, uh, faith. How did you get to religion so fast? He must have been allied or friends with the city-states that give you culture. Anyway, now let's work on the library to not fall so long behind anyone. And after bronze working I will probably... I would really... Um, Genoa is now mercantile, not maritime. I would really like to know where the irons are uh, and then I'm gonna go for theology to... or maybe first theology because I want to 